guys! My Evangelista here. Welcome to my channel. For this video, makikita nyo on how I did this look. This look could be your evening look or kung may mga formal events kayo na aattendan. So, without further ado, let's get started. We will be using this cucumber zooting gel by Ostia as a moisturizer in our face. Sorry for the voice guys, ha? medyo masama yung pakiramdam ko. Skin Liar Primer by Elisa Vega for the primer. Then, we'll just have to put it all over the face. Especially on the T-zone, yung medyo problematic areas. For the foundation, I'll be using the Sansan HD mixed with the Maybelline Feed Me. So now, uh, that we have a decent amount to put in our face. So ayan, I'll be applying it all over the face. Then I'll be using this beauty blender which is damp. Again guys, ha, dab dab lang, wag nyo siyang isuswipe. So for the concealer and also for highlighting, we'll be using this Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer. It is in light beige. Pasensya na, hindi masyado makita. And, ilalagay natin siya on the T-zone. Yung mga areas na gusto natin i-highlight. By the way, I'm using two shades lighter than me. Para hindi lang just to conceal, but also to highlight the face na rin. So, ayan. Very creamy po siya. Then blend. After the concealer, we have to set it with loose powder, which is the Nichido Final Powder, and I'll be using it in the shade Ivory Glow. So, ayan. After baking, I'll be using this LA Girl Gel Liner. Baliktad. This is in the shade Brown. So, we have to brush our kilay muna. So, yan, fast forward na natin para medyo malbilis at hindi masyadong mahaba tong video. So, yan, small angled brush. Yung thin lang, the thinnest that I could find sa mga brush set ko. So, carefully, I'm putting it in creating an arc. Again, guys, if you wanna know how do I do my kilay in a na mas elaborated, you could check out uh, my video. Meron akong separate video for how do I do my kilay. So, yeah, medyo naka-fast forward tayo, guys. Then, brush it. Blend, blend. Blend, blend, brush, brush. Sharpening the tail. Then, I'll be using this um, Nichido Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Espresso. Kinagamit ko siya especially when my eyebrows are not in the mood. So, iba-iba yung direction nila. Kailangan ko silang i-tame down using this eyebrow mascara. Then, using a flat small brush. I-define natin yung brows also to clean up yung mga excess product ng ating eyebrows. So, gagamitin ko lang ulit yung kaninang concealer, which is the Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer. Then, I'll be putting a small amount lang underneath the eyebrows. I'll bl blend it with my fingertips. Para mas mabilis tayo. And then, konting-konti lang on the top. Alright, now it's perfect, konti pa sa upper part, and then we will brush off na yung ating excess powder from baking kanina, kasi mahirap din tayo ma-overbake guys eh, nagsisettle na siya sa mga pores natin. Alright. Next, 
I'll be using the Nichido Press Powder in the shade tan just to set the whole face. So yan, top top motion lang, huwag natin siya din drag. City Color B Matte Blush for the blush on. Sorry sa mga doggy na tumatahol. Again, wag nyo masyadong i-harsh yung pag um, bo-brush nung blush on. So, top-top lang. Wag masyadong gigil. Next is this e.l.f. Bake Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. Pasensya na sa mga doggy. Hindi natin sila maawat. Then, I'll put it in the highest points of the face just to give ano lang um mabigyan pansin yung mga highest points ng ating mukha tsaka para may glow tayo also in the cupid's bow NYC smoothing skin bronzing face powder just to bring back the color of the face um I'm not a fan of super duper um, contouring pero I want a little bit of contouring just to ano lang to give dimension sa ating face and also yun nga para maibalik natin yung kulay ng face natin kasi mafa-flat siya kapag ka puro um, foundation and powder lang let me know guys kung gusto nyo na tutorial for this then next is Lorac Pro 3 palette for the base, I will be using the shade Clay, using a clean blending brush. Nalagay ko lang siya all over the lid, para lang din um, ma-equalize or ma-neutralize yung color ng ating lids, matanggal niya yung mga discolorations and everything. So, magiging clean ng ating base para smooth ang ating uh, application for the eyeshadow. The transition, I'll be using the shade Terracotta. Ilalagay lang natin siya sa crease. Um, ang purpose ni transition color is para mamaya, hindi magiging harsh yung edges ng mga ilalagay pa nating other shades. Next shade is Amethyst. Para siyang maroon na parang glittery. May konting hint of glitter. Very not to the point na glittery. So, ilalagay ko lang siya sa outer corner of the eye. Just to create, um, parang may deep set. Pero hindi pa not, but not too dark para, uh, magkaroon muna tayo ng color transition. So, ayan, bineblend ko siya together with the, uh, first color na nilagay natin for shade. Jet black for another darker color. This is to strengthen yung, uh, deep set natin for the eye. To create the dark smoky eye for the eye. So, another blending brush. Just to blend it out. So, now, tagdag pa tayo ng konting product. Just to strengthen it. Medyo na siya shock ako sa color payoff. But then again, go blend. Then, the shade Light Pewter. Nalagyan natin siya from the center of the eye, going in the inner part of the eye. Extend it to the teardrop. Using a clean blending brush, smoothen natin yung mga edges not to have a harsh line and to create that smoky effect para sa ating eye look. I'm slowly building it out. Then, babalikan natin yung shade na terracotta with the small blending brush para sa ating lower lash line. Siyempre, kailangan din natin siyang gawin para naman ma-smoke out, nat ma out natin siyang uh, look talaga. Of course, in the other eye. So, medyo ba-blend lang natin siya. Then, babalikan din natin yung shade na amethyst. Doon lang siya sa outer part ng ating lower lash line. 
then blend it out then a little bit of that uh, jet black shade again in the outer corner of my eye sa lower lash line and the other eye let's also go back to light pewter para sa inner part of the lower lash line I'll be using this Maybelline Hyper Sharp Eyeliner para to line and to emphasize yung ating eye just to make it more dramatic so dahan dahan lang you can create small strokes kung hindi pa kayo ganun kagamay with eyeliner. Then we'll create a little uh, wing. Okay. Apa nagdagdag pa? Dahil smoky eye siya, kailangan na natin siyang gawing mas dramatic. So, magta-tight line lang ako. This is optional, guys. Lalo na kung hindi kayo sanay and very sensitive yung eye nyo. By the way, I'm using an Intuit uh, eyeliner pencil. This is a very good black shade of pencil. So, ginagamit ko din siya on the lower lash line dragging it uh, outward para medyo makadagdag siya sa smoke out Fashion 21 Double Up Mascara ang gagamitin natin for the lashes I love this mascara because of the wand and also, yung lasting power niya na nakataas siya, hindi bumabagsak basta-basta yung lashes. I'll be using the Bia Eyelash Adhesive. I've learned about this sa uh, isang makeup group and they were all raving about this product. I'm just fixing out my eyelashes. Full size. So, ayan, pantay na. Pero yung glue, medyo kita pa. Kaya, ilalign ko siya with the eyeliner again. Yun lang yung downside ni Bia. Medyo nagiging color blue siya kapag uh, uh, in-apply mo na siya sa eye. So, kailangan mo siyang patungan ng black eyeliner. Pero, for its lasting um, capabilities, so, hindi mo siya mako-question kasi I best. Tapos na yung event mo, nandiyan pa lashes mo. So, ayan. Nilalign ko lang. Binabawi ko lang yung color na, na bumitaw na kulay blue. And then, balik tayo with the bronzer. Siya na rin yung gagamitin ko nose line. For this look, hindi ako masyado maglaline. Pero if you prefer a nose line na line na line, Go for it, girl. Gusto ko lang kasi may konting shadow. Kasi, syempre, alam naman ng lahat ng taong hindi katangusan yung ilong ko. Kaya, hindi ko na ipagpipilitan. So, ibiblend ko siya with my uh, fingertips. Mas madali kasi siya this way. Kesa, iblend ko siya with brush. And then, viola. Meron ng bridge ang aking nose. I'll be using this Maybelline Creamy Matte which is in the shade Touch of Spice. Medyo on the nude shade lang siya, parang medyo brownish na reddish na nude. So, ayan. I love this for my lip kasi very moisturizing si Creamy Matte. So, that's the makeup look. And then, lugay na tayo. Using this JBL Curling Iron. 
i-iron ko muna siya ng straight kasi galing siya sa ponytail. Layo na di camera. Using the hair iron from JBL, we'll be curling my hair. Yung medyo beach waves lang. Just for a sexy look. So, for the remaining hair, curl lang natin siya. So, I'll be curling it again. I like it this messy. Para tawagin talaga siyang beach waves. So, ayan. So, susuklay-suklayin ko lang siya ng aking fingertips. Ng aking fingers. Para medyo maset niya pa yung beach waves natin. Malus niya yung curls. And this is the final look. What do you think, guys? So, ayan. Please share by commenting what do you think with this look. So, ayun lang guys. So, very simple lang. Hindi siya super hirap talaga. Uh, just follow step by step kung ano yung um, ginawa natin. And you could uh, wear this again on events na pang or formal events na you will wear um, formal gowns or form formal dresses. So, you could pair it with up those kung talagang you prefer those. Kasi on my preferences, I do like uh, beach waves and um, messy hair kapag formal events. Kasi uh, I have bob hair or ano, what do we call that? Yung, yung cut ng hair ko is um, uh, papabilog siya na maikli. So para magkaroon ng dimensions, magkaroon ng styles, I'll do prefer curls. So, medyo luma na yung mga uh, curl doon na set. So, I do prefer nga yung uh, mes medyo messy and at the same time, beach wave yung dating. So, medyo magiging klase pa rin. Pero, again, it's in your own preferences. You could choose to tie them up and do up those. Ma uh, please do comment down below kung gusto nyo gumawa ako ng mga tutorials on how do I do simple hair updos. Kukuha na lang siguro ako ng model na medyo mahaba yung hair para mas maayos yung pagkakademo ko sa inyo. And again, back to this uh, video. So, yun lang guys. If you do have some questions or com uh, may mga recommendations kayo and kung may na po na kayo on this video, huwag kayong mag-atubiling i-comment down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And kung gusto nyo pa ng mga Katulad nitong tutorials, meron din akong hauls and meron din akong mga product reviews and impressions. Um, you can subscribe on my video and click the small uh, bell on the side para ma-notify kayo every time na meron akong new uploads. But again guys, I'll be having my new uploads every Mondays and Fridays. Kaya abangan nyo yon guys and see you on my next video. Bye-bye!